the great thing about her, uh, to me, was that the struggle was valiant. She was a very courageous human being. And uh, she didn't give up, really, I guess, till the end. The screenplay of the 1961 film The Misfits was based on Miller's own short story about three horse traders in the Nevada desert. He wrote the part of the vulnerable and lonely Roslyn for Monroe. You belong to Gay? I don't know where I belong. But by the time shooting began, their relationship was already disintegrated. The rhythm of our work days began to stumble as Marilyn was unable to appear until later and later each morning. I had no inkling of what to do or say anymore, and since she was in a rage against me or herself or the kind of work she was doing, she seemed to be filling with distrust not only for my opinions of her acting, but also for Houston's. It all gradually passed beyond anger or resentment, the way a natural calamity leaves one in a pause of powerless amazement. I thought that uh, with the misfits, she would see that she was an actress, that uh, what she had always wanted was to take a serious role, which she had never had, and that this would help her realize herself. But it didn't happen. And I saw then that nothing was going to do that, was not going to accomplish that. Did you think at the time that you could redeem the marriage and the relationship? And Only at the beginning. It soon became clear that it, it was impossible. The Misfits would be Marilyn's last film as well as Clark Gable's. He died only a week after shooting. Monroe and Miller's marriage broke down irretrievably. They were divorced. Marilyn Monroe died of a drugs overdose, alone, a year later, in 1962. In Roxbury, spending more and more days of each week alone, I began to fear I was loving solitude and silence too much. My decaying barns, idle since the previous owner had departed, and my fallow fields, which for two centuries had supported families, cried out to be used again. Just as my own spirit seemed to have been left to the uses of chance for too long, like my own interior terrain, the land longed for purpose and the forms that only loving work can bestow. Some of the last photos of Marilyn on the set of The Misfits had been taken by a young photographer from the Magnum Agency, Inga Marath. Miller took little notice of her at the time, being too preoccupied with his failing marriage. But months later, he met her again, and they fell in love. In a way, I see Inga coming into your life as a kind of solace, really, at that point as well, that somehow you were kind of re rethinking your life and uh, and it was going to be very different for the next 40 years. Well, she, uh, first of all, she had stupendous energy. She was inexhaustible, just physically and intellectually. She'd get tired, but when she got tired, she just went to sleep, get up all new again. And... Uh, also, she brought into my life a completely different culture, which was a, a culture that was basically hers, uh, the European, middle European culture of Vienna and Czechoslovakia and all that, which reminded me of uh, the fact that I came out of that. Miller and Inga Marath married in 1962. For the next four decades, they traveled the world together, 